there's been a discussion on the fireworks forums about how the Maltese wrapper spiked their shell breaks uh, for their multi-break shells. I just wanted to show you the setup that I use to wrap string on these brakes. Uh, of course, you're, first you start out with uh, preferably four rolls of the uh, jute string that they use. It's a real thin string. And uh, what I do is have my rolls of string on the floor. Then I bring them up and through a little divider that keeps the strings separated. And then for a tensioning device, what I've been using is uh, simply a board uh, where I sandwich the board with tension on the wing nuts through a couple of pieces of um, cardboard, just a, a thin tag board uh, type cardboard that you can see. And it is sandwiched between the two of them. And then again, I use the wing nuts to provide tension to the um, board to get the right tension on the string. And then what is very handy is to have some rollers here to be able to roll your uh, brake once you get the uh, vertical stringing on. I'll show you now how I do that. First thing that I do is take my string and I'll tie a slip knot in it. And this will go around the spool at. I like to add a little hide glue around the spool at. That kind of helps the string stick better and also provides just a little bit of fireproofing. Now we have here is the string tied around the spoolette and it's ready for spiking, the vertical spiking. As you can see there is a pattern on here that I'll use. So the first thing is to bring your string across and lock it in good. Now I put some tar around here which was an idea that that Tom Dimmick uh, came up with and that does help to hold the string so it doesn't split so I would recommend that but also as you come across these outer edges locking it in helps a lot too Once you get all four of them locked in, then you can come across easily. And then once I get it started, I'll just set it in my lap and then position strings as I come across. And my tensioner provides enough tension on there to keep it fairly taut. So you just keep coming around until you get to the halfway point, which will be indicated by a little mark here that I put on the shell. And you do work from the outside and you work in. That way when you trap the string here, all these other strings lean against it and you don't have to trap them. Just use your hand to position the strings. Try to get four of them laid down next to each other. Try to get this straight up and down. Now I'm to the center of that quadrant.
come around over to the other side now and again lock it in come up make sure it's straight lock it in lock it in lock it in and then continue filling the rest of that quadrant like this one is full but we'll just go one more time so we get the quadrant completely full of string ending again up at the spool at now at this time you can take a full turn around and start on the next quadrant that is 90 degrees to the one you just finished again lock it in Continue to fill that quadrant. You can hear the string squeaking as it's coming through that cardboard, which provides my tension. I think also having it roll over these rollers here also helps. See how it's coming across the rollers, kind of lines it up. Again, once you get to the middle of the quadrant, and then once you get up on top, I always change direction up on top by the spoolette, and go to the other side of the quadrant, lock them in, and then continue to fill that quadrant. And once that quadrant is full, come up to the spool at, change direction, and start with your next quadrant. Now this time, we don't have to lock it in because we're coming up against the already locked in string.
the other side of the quadrant when it's half full and fill it in. Okay, once you get it all filled, come back up to the spoolette, go a couple times around. And now what we need to do is we need to spiral down like in the Italian method because we need to put our uh, horizontal stringing on. And what I usually do to spiral down is I'll get it into an empty spot there or kind of a not so empty spot. And right here, I'll put a little piece of tape. So I'll put a little piece of tape where that cross, that's just to hold that string in place. It doesn't slip out. And then spiral down. And this is where the rollers really come in handy. Okay, once you've spiraled down on there and you've started to come around uh, with your string, set it on the rollers. And then with the rollers, you can rotate the shell, laying the string next to next to each other, laying the strings next to each other. What I do is hold it with one hand, the strings with one hand here, to kind of keep them uh, laying next to each other so I'm rolling on four strings at a time. And guide, use his hand to guide the string onto the shell. Again, the tensioner is providing tension as I'm putting the string on. All this hand here is doing is guiding the string. Every now and then you have to maybe push it in a little bit with this thumb here. Once you get to the top with your string, then what you'll do is get it so that you get it underneath in here. So you'll, I actually take kind of like a uh, bamboo skewer, lift, lift this up here, and then I can get the string through there. So I'll take a little tape on my little piece of bamboo skewer which I'm kind of using like a needle and just tape it to that kind of like instead of threading the needle I'm taping it taking the, taping the string to the needle and then just cut the string off cut it off fairly close so it doesn't catch when you go through and then find a spot like this where you can thread it through. And then what you'll do is simply pull that down to the side here. That tightens it on for you. So you can see right here. It's gone through the string coming, the vertical vertical strings coming down, and it just traps that. So then you just simply cut it off. And I like to put a little glue on there so it doesn't come loose. And you're done wrapping the shell. That's how, that's how it's done.